Chairman, I've been needing to go to the restroom real bad, but I knew <laughs> just as sure as I left you'd call my name. So I'll have to be brief, I guess, for the <laughs> We were watching you fidget and hoping that it would come back. And I don't have my depends on today at all. Too much information. Wow. Now he's ashamed of me. But folks, I am what I am, and I've been that for 40 years down here off and on. So I just I just start by saying this, uh, Senator Hendren, I voted for you. <laughs> As a state representative and my state senator, because I thought we needed something down here that could do a good job. One of the things, as I recall, back in 79, we had some extra money back there, and Bill Clinton and some of us Democrats and did some other stuff. We bought the Hobbs Estate with it, and I kind of supported that. I asked Kevin this morning how much we spent for that to try to put a perspective on some of my questions. But, uh, and we talked about this the other day. Let me just, since what I said earlier, let me just uh, shut right down to the college, Paul. What we're doing here, folks, we're changing this so the insiders down here in this legislature make the decision of where this $100 million goes. Now, that's my opinion, but after 40 years down here off and on, I'm entitled to have a little bit of think. I don't think there's anybody been around here longer than I have, and by the way you look. But I'll tell you what, now if somebody said, oh, well, it takes two-thirds of this. We're fixing this, ladies and gentlemen, and tell me if I'm wrong, Duncan and Jim and, and uh, Joe. We're fixing this where now it takes two-thirds. We can always call a session. We're fixing it now where the legislative council or joint budget has the final say about that. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, and me members of the table. This bothers me because this last session, I was a member of a committee, and we had a deal. They called the meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning, and some of us were standing outside the room when that committee meeting met, and seven members passed that bill out with due pass when it takes 11 members of a House committee to pass a bill out due pass. And folks, and I just tell my, my friends in the state of Arkansas, all of us, I'm not ready as a state representative now from Northwest Arkansas to turn my authority to do, decide what's spent with this money or whether we send our, spend our seed corn or not. I'm not ready to turn it over to you three guys or this legislative council, which is, which is some of the insiders down here. And I know how that works. I've been on that council. Why not leave it? And if you can fix this bill, like I said about that gun carrying bill of all that, you can fix this bill. So, Senator Hendren, my question to you is this. Why not make the same requirements on this bill that we're introducing here to spend it to let the governor or the insiders get a hold of this money? Why not keep the same restrictions on it so all 135 members have input to that like we do now? Thank you, Mr. Uh, Senator. I would just say that uh, at the end of the day, all 135 is going to vote on RSA. Oh, so Joe, let me tell you something. Hey, I, I wouldn't get fall off a turnip truck. <laughs> I know how legislative council works, and that's what it, now, am I wrong? Right now, the legislature has to prove this, which we're looking about now. But this bill, as I understand it, says the legislative council, you say, or but joint budget, right? Now, that's not all of us, is it? With RSA, but at the end of the day, RSA, what, goes, what comes out of this RSA, it's got to be inside of RSA. Don't use RSA, that gets my blood pressure up, because the insiders draw that bill, too. Well, I mean, you're saying basically, so what you're saying is then uh, members of 135 of us don't have the right to vote. Uh, every, every, all 135 of us have the right to vote on It's not in this bill, Joe. There is no vote in this bill that you're proposing that I have any say about whether the governor can spend this money. Is it in code done? The criteria are in the long term reserve fund, so it's not in this bill, it's in the the other language that we're not changing that has been in existence since 2007. So there's criteria on how the, uh, the funds could be used. But I, I want to go back to the first point you made about the insiders because, you know, my guess is that very few people were aware that $30 million was taken and spent back in 2013. Yeah, that bothers me a bit, too. Well, and, you know, very few people may, you know, I don't know how many people knew that there was $100 million sitting here. I think we're really I good. You may have done that, but I, I think we're really doing the exact opposite. We're putting it in a fund that has strict criteria for how it can be used. It's a fund that's going to be watched by the credit ratings agencies, by external partners, external observers. And um, it's also something that, you know, it's going to have to come to council or budget in a very clear and transparent way 
really as a last resort because that one of those criteria is that there are no other funds available. So uh, my argument would be that we're really kind of bringing this money out, putting it in a very transparent spot for a very clear purpose. Well, I see it's almost four o'clock. Let me wrap up with one final question. What's your